Okay, let's do this. Let's become time masters. Now, how do you master time? It seems so elusive. Well, the very first step on our path towards time mastery is to disrupt your programming and dispel all the myths about time. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you truly felt caught up? Hey, we're property managers. We are never 100% caught up. I get that. It's actually not the goal. So maybe I should refer to it as being caught up enough. Well, maybe you can remember a lull in between due dates when you were caught up enough. Was it recent? Or maybe you've been moving so fast for so long, it was years since you felt that way. And some in our industry actually call it steady state. For many, that's so far from their reality, it's like la la land. If you can remember the feeling of being caught up enough, I bet it felt pretty good. You can see the forest through the trees. You can plan better. You can see things coming. You got a better sense of control. And better yet, you've got clarity. I'm Gip Erskine, founder of Eversmarts and mentor to property managers everywhere. If you're like most people, you might be feeling like 2018 is a blur. It's going by so fast, you're not sure if you're achieving everything you set out to do. It might even be painful to realize you've been busier than ever, but unsure what you've accomplished and where your energies are being spent. It's time to get better about your approach to goals and improve your effectiveness in achieving them. And it all starts with time. That's why I've prepared this free three-part video series on time mastery. Our approach to time should be one of stewardship. To make the most of it, we gotta recognize what it is and how to value it. That's what this video series is all about. So before we get started, I wanna ask you a question. When you think about your current workload, do you think of yourself as an effective time manager? As someone who spent over 30 years in property management, I get that there's always more to do than there are hours in the day. So what if I could share some guidance? What if you could apply a few small changes to your approach and transform your to-do list into something that's both meaningful and achievable? Well, that'll allow you more time for what matters most so you can deliver exceptional results both at work and at home. And that's what we're gonna to cover today. Now, before we begin talking about your to-do list, we need to address the bigger issue at hand, and that's your why. For you to give meaning to your work, you gotta know why you're doing it in the first place. Everything on your to-do list contains different motivations. The significance you attach to any item will determine the energy and effort required to complete it. Let me say that again. The significance you attach to any item will determine the energy and effort required to complete it. When your reason why is strong enough, you can weather any storm. You can return from any setback and overcome any obstacle that may appear. For example, let's say you've got a report due today. Your why could be career preservation. I mean, if you don't submit the report on time, you could get fired. If on the other hand, you plan to attend a leadership workshop, your why could be career enhancement. Your ability to lead others well could move you up the ladder or open doors that might have otherwise been closed. So between the two choices, which why is strongest for you? I'd argue that career enhancement training will create more benefits in both the short and the long run. So what do you do now? You still have to get the report out today. Well, here's what most people do. They get defensive. They immediately drop back into survival mode. They're haunted by the possibility of job loss. They're operating from a fear mentality. And that's where they miss. They choose to only do the report and put off any action toward leadership training. It gets relegated to the someday list. But you're not like most people. The reason why you're watching this video in the first place is because you want to get, accomplish more in your life. You realize that to rise above the mediocrity and to deliver extraordinary results, you've got to take a different tack. Now, instead of thinking either or, why not think both and? Yes, you've got the report due today, but is there any action you can take toward attending the leadership training? Sure it is. You can jump on the training website and get more information. You can download the registration form. You can create space on your calendar to block time for the training. Now, none of these actions will take more than five minutes, but consistently taking action is the key. You gotta do something every day to move toward your most important goals. Okay, so now you got the idea on how to select between two different tasks. Well, how about multiple tasks? 
So let's talk about how to prioritize multiple tasks. I remember shortly after a property sale a few years ago, everything on our transition list had to be done that day. Everything became a top priority, a front burner item. A scenario like that sets us up for failure. Because the truth is, when everything is on the front burner, then nothing is. You have no clear idea on what should be done next. As human beings, we can only do one task at a time. We can only think one thought, we can only say one word, we can only do one thing at a time. You know this already, but it helps to be reminded. It's just a simple fact that you'll accomplish far more, far faster, if your mind and your energy is completely focused on one single task at a time. Now I know you may be thinking, well that sounds great Gip, but what am I supposed to do now? I still have all this work and there's still only one of me. That's why I want to make sure you watch the next video, because in it I'll be sharing with you my five key success strategies to time mastery. Adopt these strategies and you'll not only know how to distinguish what needs to be done first, but you'll start to see meaningful movement towards your most important goals. Plus, as you'll find out, they can be accomplished in less time and handled in a focused and stress-free manner. I'll see you there.